Hello, friends. So here you have a poet. An ordinary man undergoes transformation, a huge change, and he becomes a poet. How? Because he has been embraced by the muse of poetry. The muse of poetry has compelled him to accept her invitation. Just like a command. And he says, And I wrote the first faint line, Fain without substance, Pure nonsense, Pure wisdom of someone who knows nothing. Suddenly I saw the heavens unfastened and open, Planets palpitating, palpit, Planets palpitating, Plantations, Shadow perforated, riddled with the arrows, fire and flowers, the winding night, the universe. Suddenly he stands at the threshold of the universe. Terrible. <laughs> A common man, an ordinary man, walking along the streets, participating in revolutions, just like any other person, all night becomes or within a split second becomes a great poet. He was awarded Nobel Prize for Literature, as we have seen, Pablo Neruda. And his experience, he says, and I wrote the first faint line. My first lines were faint. Faint means very weak. No syllables, no vowels. Only some letters here and there, faint, repeating, it's very faint, without substance, no sense, just some hollow words, some sounding words, that's all, pure nonsense. So to begin with, what he wrote, he himself accepts, he himself accepts the fact that just all pure nonsense. This is the case with Taylor. Even with Shakespeare, James Joyce, T.S. Eliot, great writers, all they began with pure nonsense. Later they became great writers. James Joyce, when he took his short story for publication, James Joyce, I am saying, because he is one of the greatest novelists of 20th century. Ulysses, Finnegan's Wake, the portrait of an artist as a young man, very famous. <laughs> so what happened is that he took his short stories to the publishers, and the publishers said, eh, not worth to be published. Bernard Shaw's place in the beginning were taken to the public and published it was sent through them in the waste paper basket. And later you know, he stands second only to Shakespeare. So everybody is like that, pure, pure, pure nonsense. And then he says another the pure wisdom. Why pure wisdom? Originality. He did not imitate. Just pure wisdom of someone who knows nothing. That's the thing. Not influenced by others. I was, I did not allow myself to be influenced by others. So my nonsense, there is wisdom, there is purity in it. It is, it is my wisdom. The words that I wrote were not contaminated by influence of other people, but they were pure, original, who knows nothing. Nothing there means not influenced by anybody. So that is what you have to do. The moment you start getting influenced by others and copying things from others, you will never grow. This is I always tell this to my students. Don't go after guides. Don't go after printed notes and so on. I, you can, I, 
And that's my view. See that? You should tax your brain and find out what is in it. What is in the peace given to you. Then what happened? And then you will grow. Suddenly I saw the heavens unfazed and open. The heavens unlocked. And I saw the heavens. What do you mean by heavens? He saw saints and angels. No, here it means the beautiful, of course created by God, the sky. With all its wonders, tingling stars, swimming planets, infinite space. All the wonders of this celestial world, celestial, heavenly, this sky, planets, palpitating plantations, pal vibrating with life. I saw the celestial world, I saw the paradise, that is our earth and the plantation, the flowers, the trees, the forests, the rivers, the seas, planets palpitating plantations, all the shadows perforated, perforated, you know, it is making holes. When you buy a ticket, you will find the end of, end, one end of the ticket, you will find pa, the Remnants of perforation. Small holes are made. You have seen like this. It is that is the place from where you get it torn. You tear it from there and give it. Give it to your custom. Perforate. So I saw my till the moment. Or you can say like this. The moment I was embraced by the muse of poetry, all, all the shadows that was in front of me, it's my ignorance, my inability to write poems or creative work. Holes were made, riddled, full of holes. What does that mean? Everything was bright for me. What was shadowed till a moment ago has now become so bright. Flash of light fell on the shadows. Shadows perforated, riddled, riddled means full of holes. Riddled with arrows. Whose arrows? Arrows of wisdom. Wisdom given to whom? To me, by the muse of poetry. I saw fire and flowers everywhere. Imagination. Imagination without any boundaries. No borders. No limits. So fire and flowers. The winding night, winding. The night is getting winded, that means night is coming to an end. You say you wind up the program, we say. So we are, we are coming to the end of the program. So the night is coming to the end. My ignorance, all the shadows disappear. The night, my ignorance disappearing. Listen up that what is, what is standing before me, the entire universe. I am standing at the threshold of the universe. I have become part of that universe. The next section you will find I, an infinitesimal being, very, very small. As far as the universe is concerned, who am I? But I have been endowed with, gifted with imagination. Which is, which has, which has absolutely no 
boundaries. It goes beyond this universe. My imagination goes beyond this universe. It runs beyond this universe. It's greater than the universe. My imagination. And this imagination will help me to produce great works of art. Understand? So now you go through those lines and I wrote the first faint line, faint without substance, pure nonsense, pure wisdom of someone who knows nothing. And suddenly I saw the heavens unfacing and open planets. Oh, sir, unfortunately, open planets, palpitating plantations, shadow perforated, riddled with arrows, fire and flowers, the winding night, the universe. This is what happens to a person who is summoned by the muse of poetry. You have to be summoned. You cannot ask the muse of poetry to summon you. You cannot sit down and say, today I am going to become a poet. It's not impossible. It is a gift. It is a gift. You want gratis. I told you gratis means give something to a person who does not deserve it. That is giving something gratis means. Pablo Neruda was an ordinary person, just a, a person who was going around agitating and taking part in day-to-day -day life, a common man, but suddenly he was chosen. He was chosen to be a poet. That is the... That only then you become a great poet, great writer. Not that if you say, I'm going to write short story, you write. <laughs> You'll see that. But it's not really a poem, but it's a, a film by a director. Anything, any great works, work of art. The architect who built the Taj, oh, these are chosen people. Only if you are chosen, you can become great. Then automatically your effort you will put in. I have simplified this for you, I will read out. The poet knew nothing, but he made his first attempt. The lines that he wrote were very weak, had no sense. He did not stop. He wrote again and again and again. The doors of his originality began to open. He wrote without being influenced by others, pure wisdom. His lines were pure, outcome of pure wisdom. What he wrote was his own. All at once, all at once, he felt the floodgates of imagination opening before him. He saw planets swimming in the vast expanse of the space. Everything in nature vibrating, shadows disappearing, mind getting filled with fire and flowers. The night winding up and himself stepping on the threshold of the universe. Himself stepping on the threshold of the vast universe. The making of a poet. The making of a poet. The making of a poet that is Pablo Neruda, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature. I hope you have, you are enjoying this poem and also things are getting, shadows are being perforated and riddled <laughs> with arrows. The arrows of my words. Sorry, the arrows of my words perforating the lines of this poem and the whole poem getting revealed becomes bright and you, you understand this. You, things are clear to you, I suppose. We'll continue till we meet again. Bye.